This is a SnapEd New York video presentation. Hi, everybody. I'm Wanda Collins, your SnapEd nutritionist. And today I want to talk about balance, but I don't mean balance like standing on one foot and trying to catch yourself. And I don't mean balance by putting something on your hand and trying to balance it. I mean balancing this my plate with the activity we do. So let's learn more about energy balance. Today's lesson is all about energy balance. At the end of this video, you will understand the relationship of calories burned and or calories consumed to energy balance. Understand that whole foods contribute additional calories that must be burned for the body to maintain energy balance. Calories are food energy and they are found on every food label. What does that mean to you? Yes, the food we eat gives us calories, that is energy, and the activities we do burn those calories. When we talk about energy balance, we mean the calories or energy in food equals the calories or energy burned in activities. It's like using a balancing scale. What is a balancing scale? Well, let me show you. So this is a homemade balancing scale. Now, if you go to YouTube, you can find out how to make these. And this one is definitely not super accurate, but I'm looking more for demonstration than accuracy so it'll work for so that you understand what the next activity is all about. Here's how this works. A balancing scale is for you to measure the weight between two objects, like these two frogs. So if I take this first frog and I drop him in here and we let it go, you can see that the scale has tipped in this direction because now this cup is heavier than that cup. However, if I put this frog in this cup and we let it go, you see that they're almost the same weight, but this one is a little bit lower than the other one. That means that this frog is a little bit heavier than this frog. A balancing scale works for us today because I'm going to read you three scenarios. And each scenario is going to tell us if the person has a balance between food and activity or if they're out of balance, like maybe too much food and not enough activity or too much activity and not enough food. Those are the things that we need to think about for this next activity. Again, I'm going to read a scenario and you will pause the video and decide which side of the balance scale should be labeled calories consumed, that means the food they ate, and which side should be labeled calories burned, meaning the amount of activity they did. Here is student one. Student one is on the track team. When it isn't track season, he runs at least five miles a day. Every weekend he goes on a 20 mile bike ride. Since he doesn't want to gain weight, he only eats three tiny meals a day, but he does drink a lot of fat free milk. What would this student scale look like? Would one side be heavier than the other, or would the sides be even? Draw a scale that you think represents this student. Label the sides calories consumed and calories burned to show which is heavier and which is lighter. Pause the video to complete this task. Is this how you drew your scale? This student does a lot of activity, but does not eat enough food to get the energy he needs. His energy balance is heavy on activity or calories burned, but light on food or calories consumed. Over time, he may lose weight. Here's another one to try. Student 2 walks to school every day since he lives only three blocks away. But other than this, he doesn't get much exercise. He goes to fast food places with his friends three or four times a week. At home, he eats a lot of fried foods, and he doesn't like many fruits and vegetables. His mother often buys ice cream and other desserts. What would this student scale look like? Would one side be heavier than the other, or would the sides be even? Draw a scale that you think represents this student. Label the sides calories consumed and calories burned to show which is heavier or lighter. Pause the video to complete the task. 
Did your scale turn out this way? This student isn't very active, but is consuming a lot of high-calorie foods. That means his calories consumed, that is his food, is more than his calories burned, that's his activity. Over time, he may gain weight. Here is student three. Student three is on the basketball team, and she plays tennis with her friends at least twice a week. She eats mostly fish, chicken, whole wheat bread, and fruits and vegetables. The only things she likes to drink is low-fat milk and water. On average, she eats fast food a few times a month. What would this student scale look like? Would one side be heavier than the other, or would the sides be even? Draw a scale that you think represents this student. Label the sides calories consumed and calories burned to show which is heavier and lighter. Pause the video to complete this task. Very good. This one is even Steven. It doesn't matter which side of the scale you place your answers. When over time the number of calories you consume is about the same as the number of calories you burn, your body is in energy balance. This student ate a lot of healthy foods and very few high calorie foods and stayed active. Eating go and slow foods most of the time and in reasonable amounts will help your body stay in energy balance. Because go foods, that is foods with no solid fat, salt, or added sugar, and slow foods, and those are foods that have a small amount of solid fat, salt, and added sugar, usually contain fewer calories than woe foods. Woe foods are highly processed and have a lot of solid fat, salt, and added sugar. You are more likely to burn the calories or the food energy and go in slow foods rather than the woe foods, which may contain many, many more calories. Being active will also help you stay in energy balance because you will burn calories simply from digesting food and breathing, but you burn a whole lot more calories when you're active. Let's see how we can use this information about eating more go and slow foods and being active to maintain energy balance. It's time for the Woe Transformation Game. In this game, we will learn the number of calories in a meal increases as go and slow foods are transformed into woe foods. Once they are transformed, we have to do the activities to burn off the extra calories. This is how we play. A meal will be on the screen. On the left will be the meal with go and or slow foods. On the right will be the same meal with woe foods. The calories will be listed next to the foods. Your job? Find the difference in the calories and then do some fun activities to burn off those extra calories. For the activity, you just need to stand up, spread out your arms, and, as long as you don't hit anything, you have enough room. We can do the first one together. Here's meal one. Now the first thing we should do is always notice the differences between the go meal foods and the woe meal foods. If we look on the left, we see we have whole wheat toast, that's about 70 calories. We have skim milk about 80 calories, and two eggs, probably hard-boiled, is about 90 calories. That's our go meal. When we move to the woe transformation side, we have French toast with syrup, which is about 180 calories, whole chocolate milk, which is somewhere around 200 calories, and two eggs fried in butter. That is about 200 calories. All totaled, the go meal has 240 calories, while the woe meal has 580 calories. That is a big difference in overall calories. To start, we have to find the difference, that is mathematical word problem language for subtraction, between the calories in each row. We'll do the first row together. Whole wheat toast has 70 calories and French toast with syrup has 180 calories. That means we have to subtract 70 from 180. And when we do that, we get 
110 calories. That means there is 110 more calories in French toast with syrup than in the whole wheat toast. You do the next two rows. Skim milk compared to whole chocolate milk and two eggs compared to two eggs fried in butter. Pause the video, do the math, and write down your answers. Great job! I'm sure you came up with the same answers. Now, on to the next step. More math! Yay! All you need to do is divide your answer by 10. We'll do the first one together. 110 divided by 10 equals 11. Now, finish the next two rows. Pause the video and write down your answers. Did you notice you only had to drop the zero? Now, this is how many activities you will be doing. Stand up. It's time to burn off those extra calories. Okay, for row one, it's 11 jumping jacks. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Good job. Row two is toe touches. You can do this type, and it's okay if your legs are not perfectly straight. Just stretch as far as you can without hurting yourself. You can do windmill toe touches or the type where you cross your ankles and bend down. Just make sure you come all the way back up. Ready? Let's do 12. 1 all the way up. 2 all the way up. 3 all the way up. 4 all the way up. 5 all the way up. 6 all the way up. 7 all the way up. 8 all the way up. 9 all the way up. You're almost there. 10 all the way up. 11 all the way up. 12 all the way up. Great job. Row three is invisible jump rope. Hold your hands as if you were holding the jump rope. And when we start, spin the bottom part of your arm just like you would a jump rope and jump. So here we go for 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Woo-hoo! Great job. You've got the hang of this woe meal transformation game. So on to meal two. Okay, here is meal two. Now let's notice the differences between the go meal foods and the woe meal foods. First, the go meal on the left. It's a baked potato, and a baked potato actually has about 160 calories, but they gave you 220 so you could have a little bit of a topping. And we have fresh oranges, which is 65 calories, and a baked chicken with no skin, which is about 150 calories. Now, we transform it into a woe meal, and we have fried french fries, which is around 400 calories, an orange-flavored fruit drink, we'll say about 16 ounces, and that's 125 calories, and a fried chicken with the skin on at 350 calories. That means our goal meal has a total of 435 calories, while the wool meal has... 875 calories. Wow, that's almost double the calories. Well, let's move on to our math. Gotta love math. Okay, here we go. Let's find the difference, remember that's math lingo for subtraction, between the go food and the woe food on each row. Pause the video and write down your answers. These are the answers. There is 180 calories more in fried french fries than in a baked potato. There are 60 calories more in orange flavored fruit drink than in fresh oranges. And there's 200 calories more in fried chicken with the skin than baked chicken without the skin. Now, divide your answers by 10. Pause the video and write down your answers. Here we have it. This is how many activities you will be doing. So stand up. It's time to burn off all those extra calories. Woohoo! Here we go. Row one, 18 jumping jacks. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 
17, and 18. Whew, that was fun. Row two toe touches. Make sure you come all the way up in between. Now go. One, and all the way up. Two, all the way up. Three, all the way up. Four, all the way up. Five, all the way up. Six, all the way up. And we're moving on to row three. Row three is invisible jump ropes. We are going to do 20. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Phew, that was quite a workout. Let's move on to meal three. Here is meal three. Let's notice the differences between the go meal foods and the woe meal foods. The go meal starts on the left with a burger made with extra lean ground beef. That means that the burger package says 90% lean. It has very little fat, so it's only 150 calories. We're going to have green beans, and that's 50 calories, and water. It has zero calories. If we transform that entire meal into a woe meal, we have a burger made with regular ground beef. That means the packaging says 80% lean, so it has quite a bit more fat, and it's 250 calories. Green bean casserole, that's the casserole made with green beans and mushroom soup and those crunchy onion things. That's 170 calories. And soft drink, you might call it pop or soda. Either way, it's 150 calories. That means that our go meal has 200 calories. The woe meal has 570 calories. Wow, that is more than twice the calories in the go food. Wow. Well, let's move on to our math. You know the drill. Find the differences in the calories on each row. Pause the video and write down your answers. You probably got these same answers. Now, divide each answer by 10 and pause the video so you can write down your answers. Okay, this is how many activities we need to do. So stand up. It's time to burn off all those extra calories. It's 10 jumping jacks for row one and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job, everybody. 12 toe touches for row two. And remember not to cheat and come all the way back up. Ready? Go. One, all the way back up. Two, all the way up. Three, all the way up. Four, all the way up. Five, all the way up. Six, all the way up. Seven, all the way up. Eight, all the way up. Nine, all the way up. Ten, all the way up. Eleven, all the way up. And twelve, all the way up. Great job. Moving on to row three. Okay, row three is 15 invisible jump ropes. Get your arms in position and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Whew, good job. Why don't you pause the video and get a drink of water? We have a few more to do. Welcome back. And now it's time for meal number four. And when we notice these differences, a big one is there are go and slow foods in our first meal and woe foods in the second. So let's take a look at this. Our first meal starts with fettuccine noodles and olive oil. The olive oil makes it a slow food and it's about 120 calories. The next food is whole grain roll. That's a go food because half your grains should be whole grains and it's somewhere around 100 calories. Now turkey sausage is a slow food. It has some fat in it but not as much as regular sausage. It's 200 calories. Once they are transformed into woe foods, we have fettuccine alfredo and alfredo is a creamy sauce. That gives us 300 calories. Breadsticks with butter, it's 150 calories, and bacon, holy cow, 400 calories. So that means that our go and slow meal has 
four hundred and twenty calories, but the wool meal has eight hundred and fifty calories. That's a lot of calories. You know what to do. Find the differences in the calories on each row and pause the video and write down your answers. These are the answers you should have gotten. And now divide by 10 and you can pause the video so you have time to do the math and write down your answers. Looks like we'll be busy. Stand up. It's time to burn off all those extra calories. 18 jumping jacks for row 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Awesome job. On to row 2. Five toe touches and down all the way up, two all the way up, three all the way up, four all the way up, five all the way up. That was easy peasy. Let's move on to row three. All right, 20 jump ropes. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Great job, everybody. Let's move on to meal number 5. Here we have meal number 5. And if you notice, this meal only has a go meal that transforms into a full wool meal. Let's see what's in the go meal. We have oatmeal, which is about 160 calories. 1% milk, which is about 120 calories, and a fresh apple that is about 100 calories. When it goes through the woe transformation block, it turns into oatmeal cookies for 250 calories and a coffee drink with whole milk and sugar added. That's like one of those really fancy ones. That's 300 calories. And applesauce with sugar added. That's 200 calories. That means for the our go meal, there is a total of 380 calories, but the woe meal has 750 calories. That's a lot more calories. Well, it's time to do the math. You know how to do this. Find the difference in calories for each row. Pause the video so you have time to do the math and write down your answers. You knew this was coming. Now divide by 10 and again, pause the video so you have time to do the math and write down your answers. Here you go. These are the activities we're going to do. So stand up. It's time to burn off all those extra calories. Row one, nine jumping jacks and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Awesome. On to row two. All right. Eighteen toe touches and no cheating. Come all the way back up and go. One. All the way up. Two. All the way up. Three. All the way up. Four. All the way up. Five. All the way up. Six. All the way up. Seven. All the way up. Eight. All the way up. Nine. All the way up. Ten. All the way up. Eleven. All the way up. Twelve. All the way up. 13 all the way up, 14 all the way up, 15 all the way up, 16 all the way up, 17 all the way up, and 18 all the way up. Great job, guys. Now, let's finish row three. 10 invisible jump ropes and go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Awesome, everybody. Guess what? One more meal and we're done. Here we are, our very last meal. We got this. Let's notice the difference between our go and slow meal and the woe meal. Our go and slow meal has in it fresh squash, which is a go food, and that's about 40 calories. Pecans, which is a slow food because they have a little more fat in them, so they're 170 calories. And grilled shrimp, which is a go food, and that's 50 calories.
Now, if we send that through the Woe Transformation box, we have a meal that starts with fresh squash made with salt and butter. That's a Woe food, and that's 90 calories. And then there's a pecan cluster candies. Those are the pecans that are all stuck together with a lot of sugar and goop. Those are 320 calories, and fried shrimp is 150 calories. That means that our go and slow meal is 260 calories total, and our woe meal is 560 calories total. So there's quite a few more, like more than twice the calories in our woe meal compared to the go meal. So let's start doing some math. Last time, find the differences in the calories on each row and pause the video so you have time to do the math and write down your answers. Here are the answers you should have gotten and now divide by 10. Pause the video so you have time to do the math and write down your answer. Okay, this is the activities we have to do, so stand up. It's time to burn off the extra calories. Five jumping jacks, let's go! One, two, three, four, five, awesome job! Row two is next! Fifteen toe touches, remember, don't cheat, come all the way back up. And one, all the way back up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, 10, up, 11, up, 12, up, 13, up, 14, up, and 15, all the way up. Great job. Last one, row three. Last one, everybody. Here we go. 10 invisible jump ropes, and go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Great job, everybody. Sit down and relax. We have just a little bit more to do. Energy balance is important to a healthy body. You just experienced what it means to change from go and slow foods to woe well foods. Most of the woe well meals we did have nearly twice as many, if not more, calories than the go and slow meals. To eat more woe foods means doing more activity to burn those extra calories to maintain energy balance. What can you do to help your body stay in balance? Pause the video and share your ideas with someone close by. Did you say these or something like these? Eat the right amount of food my body needs to burn. Eat, go, and slow foods most of the time. Do more activity. Eat fewer woe foods. Those are all excellent ideas. So today we've learned all about energy balance. And energy balance is all about keeping your food and your activity even. So when you eat, make sure you're eating half a plate of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and low-fat dairy. Do the activities you need to burn off those calories, and you'll be in balance. Thank you for joining us today. We know the healthy choice isn't always the easiest choice, but small changes can make a big difference. Start today by getting involved with SNAP Ed New York. This program is free for those who qualify or receive SNAP benefits. We want to help you save time, save money, and eat healthy. Learn how SNAP Ed can make a difference in your life. For more information and to find your local program, visit snapedny.org. This material is funded by USDA's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. SNAP, this institution is an equal opportunity provider.